Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to cover the basic settings of Profit Center Accounting. And these are the steps we are going to cover today. The first step is set the controlling area and the transaction code is OKKS. We can use the transaction code or we can go by IMD screen. The path is controlling profit center accounting basic settings and set controlling area here a window will open here we specify the controlling area which we want to set as a default controlling area here we are setting controlling areas to RCB click on OK so we have set our controlling area as to RCB default in the sense if you go to any other screen CO related screen the data relating to this particular control area which we have set here in this screen will be picked for example go to this CO screen maintain controlling area settings execute so here we can see that controlling area is selected as 2RCB and the data relating to this specific controlling area is displayed here for example let's go back and change once again set the controlling area this time I, have, I am changing controlling area to 1000 click on ok so we have set the controlling area as 1000 again go to the screen maintain controlling area settings click on execute this time we can see that the data relating to 1000 controlling area is displayed here so it has picked default as a controlling area the next step is maintain controlling area settings for profit center accounting the transaction code is 0KE5 or we can use the IMG screen so the path is same controlling area profit center accounting basic settings controlling area settings under that maintain controlling area settings execute so this controlling area is picked from earlier setting which we did as a set the default controlling area and this dummy profit center is picked from the screen when we created the dummy profit center for our controlling area so go to that screen let me show you this the same path profit center controlling profit center accounting in that master data profit center accounting click on create a dummy profit center click on change profit center here we can see that earlier already we have created one dummy profit center for this controlling area so we can see that 2rcb underscore dummy is the profit center dummy profit center assigned to this controlling area once we assign this dummy profit center we cannot change it so we can see that it is grayed out it, it is not editable so you can see the same thing is updated here 2rcb underscore dummy here also it is grayed out we cannot edit this here in the screen we can see that this is the dummy profit how, how do we know that this is a dummy profit center go to this tab indicator tab here a checkbox is there when it is selected as a dummy profit center from this we can say that this is a dummy profit center go back go to next field next field is standard hierarchy this is also picked from the screen which we created as a standard hierarchy screen this is the standard hierarchy screen path is profit center accounting mass data under profit centers click on default standard hierarchy this is the PR underscore CTR underscore GRP is the standard hierarchy we created for our controlling area this is a group under this standard hierarchy how do we know that this particular standard hierarchy belongs to this uh, controlling area to RCB. Go to that uh, screen, standard hierarchy screen, click on extras and select this uh, set controlling area. So we can say that this standard hierarchy belongs to this controlling area. So this is picked from here, standard hierarchy. Now generally this uh, profit center local currency type will be in most cases it will be controlling area currency only set 20 20 is a controlling area currency now 
profit center local currency will be group currency only control area currency only then valuation view will be legal valuation ALA distribution no distribution so here from year will be the current year in general generally it will be the current year and this checkbox will be selected selected in the sense from this year particular year the profit center accounting is active we can use profit center accounting from this year the next step is set the control parameters for actual data transaction code is 1 KEF or we can use the IMG screen the path is controlling profit center accounting basic settings controlling area settings activate direct postings and set control parameters for actual data here we can see four columns one first one is year and second one is locked line items online transfer so if, uh, let's take this locked one when we select this checkbox we cannot post any actual line items to this controlling area for this year so it is a combination of controlling area and year so it will restrict postings in this year so we need not we should not select this checkbox keep it blank and we need to select these both checkboxes line item checkbox and online transfer checkbox this is selected to allow the system to post the actual line items in the profit center accounting this will allow the direct posting from other modules as an online transfer if we have not selected this we need to use some additional activity or some additional programs to transfer data from other modules so make sure that these two checkboxes are selected now the next step is maintain plan version the transition code is OKEQ path is same plan versions maintain plan versions select version 0 and click this folder settings for profit center accounting here we can see the same way the checkboxes are same version locked online transfer line items so here also we should not select this locked version locked screen and here in addition to this we are having exchange rate type also. so similarly like earlier if we select this locked screen the data we cannot post data to profit center accounting for this year for this controlling area but in addition to this in this combination version is also selected for this specific version for this three combination combination of these three we cannot post data when this checkbox is selected the difference is that a version addition is added here earlier this combination of controlling area and year was selected here version is also option is also there make sure that online transfer and line item are also selected go to next step before going to next step you may get a doubt or a question that in both the steps we have done the same configurations but in first step this step we have specified the settings for only actual data we have not considered the planned data that too it is limited to only controlling area and physical year. here you can see that only controlling area and physical year specific configurations we have done that to actual postings only but in the next step what we have done is that we have given specifications of line item transfer online transfer specifically for planned values actual values and specific to version here we can see specific to version year along with the exchange rate type also for both planned and actual values it is more precise the second one is the next step is analyze settings in this screen we will not do any configuration or settings just this screen will display all the settings what we have made 
for a particular controlling area specific to profit center accounting. The path is same under basic settings, analyze settings, give the controlling area, click on OK. Here the system will display all the settings we have made to our profit center accounting like from which year it is active, from 2021 it is active. So dummy profit center is there, standard hierarchy, currency, legal valuation, if there is any lock, so there is no lock, online transfer allowed, line items allowed. So these are the modules from which data is moving to, allowed to move from other modules to profit center accounting. So all these settings will be displayed here. We will not be doing any changes here, just it is uh, for reference, for checking purpose. What are the configurations we have made in our profit center accounting. So next step is allow balances to be carried forward to KET. Balance carried forward. The path is same but under basic settings. Balance carry forward. Allow balances to be carried forward. Select this carry forward radio button and click on exit. So already set. This step is also done. The last one is maintain retained in links account. This setting is not specific to profit center accounting. This is more a generic, generic setting which we generally do in general ledger accounting, FI. The setting, same setting will reflect here. The path is balance carry forward, maintain retained in links account. Click on execute. Here on the left side, chart of account is there. Click on position, give over chart of account, click on execute. So, for this retained ending of account is specified. To RCB chart of account, retained endings is specified. From where it is getting pulled? It is getting pulled from FI settings. Let's go to FI settings. SPRO, IMG. Financial Accounting, General Ledger Accounting, GL Accounts, Master Data, Preparations, Define Retained Earnings Account. From this setting, this data is getting pulled. Let's click on Execute, Define Retained Earnings Account. So give the chart of account. So here we can see that the same settings. This chart of account transaction is BIL balance carry forward PNL statement account. This is a retained earnings account. The same settings we can see here. So this data is getting pulled from FI GL configuration. So with this we have completed our steps today.